टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मैन डब्ल्यू सेट वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू फाइंड द फिमोची सिक्वेंस विच इज हिडन इन साइड द मैन डब्ल्यू सेट द मैन डब्ल्यू सेट इज ए फैक्टर डिस्कवर्ड बाय बैनियट मैन डब्ल्यू इट इज जनरेटेड विद दिस रिकर्सिव फॉर्मूला ऑन द कॉम्प्लेक्स प्लेन वट डज दैट मीन लेट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द बेसिक्स we know that negative number has no real square root because a negative number squared is always positive its square root must be imaginary the square root of negative 1 is an imaginary number this is complex plane instead of x and y axis we have real and imaginary axis for example this complex number would be here on this plane negative 2 unit left and 1 unit up the c here represents a complex number Let's use this complex number. Z sub zero equal to zero. Z sub one equal to zero square plus c, which is our number. Z sub two equal to that squared plus our number. When we do this for a while, we can see that the number is growing and growing. It's therefore not in the Mandelbrot set. So we color it a shade of red. Let's try the equation with the number negative one. Z sub one equals zero square minus one. Z sub two. Equals negative one square minus one. Z sub three equals zero square minus one. Z sub four equals negative one square minus one. Wait a minute. We are in the loop. That means that negative one is a part of Mandel Brot set. So we color it black. Now what if we did this with every point in the complex plane, color coding each point based on the how fast that number grows. If the number goes in a loop, we color it black. Doing that. We get this crazy shape. The edges are kind of rough, though. Let's zoom in and see what this thing really look like. Wow! Look at this structure. We zoom in here and we see five fold symmetry. Next to it, seven fold symmetry. Then nine fold symmetry. Then eleven. Then thirteen. We can find a near perfect copy of the entire thing. To these component, I am going to assign a number. and that number is going to the number of branches that component have so like here this component there is this part where we have these branches in three different direction so this component will have number 3 and similarly over here it's actually turn out there is only two direction so this is component number 2 now if we look for the next biggest one the largest component between the two and the three component have five directions that you can go from that component and the next biggest between these two is 8 so if you go through the mandelbrot set and you start with these two component the 2 and 3 component and you look between them for the next biggest component the next biggest one will be the next fibonacci number no one designed this mathematical creature the order structure and beauty we found is simply embedded in reality think for a second if no one created this image how could it be so beautiful 